are engaged. You were you were just boyfriend and girlfriend. What right. did you uh, put on his MySpace, daily? I put engaged. Engaged. <laughs> yes. Okay, and then once you on got on both in, of our pages. On both your pages. On both of then our once pages. you got engaged, what did you put Married. on? Married. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? She's always a step ahead of the game. Okay. And I'm unaware of this, of course, because I have people calling me and saying, are you married? What's, what's going on? Because I actually on? have his codes to everything. He gave me everything at the beginning, which is a great sign. I he think it's a really good sign. Stuff. And I went and I changed them for him. He didn't even know. Okay. <laughs> so what's really holding you back, Michael? I understand you feel young. Um, <laughs> still just being engaged is still, like, overwhelming for me. It's still too much. It, it's, it's too much. And then a big factor is the age difference. You know, right. she's 32, I'm 25. Right. I just coming from... The audience, whoa! Wow! <laughs> hey, <honey>. wow. <laughs> you know, I... I accomplished. <laughs> I, I graduated school about two years ago, so I'm coming from college, you know, so-called jock, whatever, you know, sports, you know... Playboy. Whatever the case is. So you're and, scared. Girls. And then it's a dramatic change for me. Yeah. It's a dramatic change. So you don't even seem like you're ready to be in where you are right now, which is engaged. <laughs> he uh, talks about it, though, too. He, he asked me, he does speak about it, too. Like but he's very playful. Right. You know, whereas, you know, I would want him to get a little bit more serious with it. <laughs> right. Uh, Lori, what do you have to say about this? Well, I want to understand why Daylene is pushing so hard. I mean, right. is it that you have something to prove? Is it that Michael's making you insecure? So no. you, you need to work that out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not insecure at all. Not at all. Um, I just feel like the day I met him, you know, when we left the, the venue we were at, I actually told my girlfriend that he was my future husband. Um, we meshed very well together, had so many things in common. Yeah, I can actually start a sentence and he'll always finish, finish it. it. It's like we're always thinking. <laughs> okay. We're always thinking on the same page, on the same level. And I just know he's my soulmate. I just want to spend the rest of my life with him. But it, you know what it sounds like to me? It sounds so one-sided. I saw him. He was okay. my future husband. He's right for me. Because he tries to downplay everything. Okay. When, it, when no one else is there, he's very like, oh, my God, you're gorgeous. I love you. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me. Okay. And, so, and his friend, in front of his friends, it's always very mellow. I think not, this is a little different, though, because he's younger. What advice do you have for a woman that is with a guy that is... Uh, younger and he's not ready right well he has no incentive to propose now especially if you guys live together you know if that's your situation um so the first tactic here is that you really shouldn't rush to move in with someone because then you know you're not in the best place to convince them that it's time to to propose um another thing is that um you should really think about how you nag uh you need to strategically nag uh, i think you did a great job at the beginning no i mean your nagging got you a proposal and, and my research actually suggests that some men say you know it, it, the fact that she nagged me sold it because I, I it was on my radar and I realized that it was really important to her and I want to make her happy right. but now you're not nagging strategically anymore you're just nagging right, right. so <laughs> it, it, it's just getting irritating and um, if he's worried that you're bossy or anything like that it's just gonna reinforce those fears yeah so the the, the young thing what do, you, what do you suggest specifically with when, when a guy is younger do well, you give him more right. time I think that um, when you know you're a little younger, what, what you might want to do is start hanging out with more married couples or married guys. Okay? He and just shook his head no. <laughs> he was like, huh? Exactly. You think single. married people have They're nothing all to single. offer you? And right. mine are all married with children, you know, because of the age difference. Mm -hmm. So I definitely know he's got cold feet. Yeah. You think of yourself as a single guy because you associate with single guys, right? So if you start hanging out with married guys, that might be some positive peer pressure that it'll encourage yeah, you maybe to grow up a little bit. Yeah. It's, it's all new to me, so it's all new to me, so. Okay, know. we'll be right back. <laughs> okay, we've heard from women who are trying to get their guys to put a ring on it, but what if you can't even find the right guy to begin with? With me now is Amy, and she says she feels like she is always, always single and has such bad luck. So I'll stand on up, Miss Amy. Okay, you're just, your entire life, you've just had these relationships that don't work. How long does it take for it to not work? Well, usually things fall apart after a few months. A few months. I find. You know, they seem to have promised, like one guy I met, okay, he asked me to be exclusive after a couple months. Of course I said yes. I don't know why I had a feeling to go online 
I found his picture and profile on like six or seven different dating sites. Okay, all of them said active within 24 hours. Oh, I was about to say maybe they were old ones, but no, within 24 hours within, he was active. Yes, so I emailed him. The guy wrote back, asked me out. You emailed him as another person? Yeah, I created a fake profile and, you know, he asked me out. <laughs> I don't have to tell you where that one ended up. Okay, so you have come up with a plan because you have such bad luck. Tell me about this plan that you have to find a man. It's a national plan. Yes, my plan is to run a personal ad, all right, as a commercial in the Super Bowl, <laughs> okay, where I can reach a captive audience of like over 50 million guys. 50 million guys. How much does a Super Bowl commercial cost these days? Uh, three million dollars. Three million dollars for 30 seconds. Right. A million dollars per 10 seconds. How are you going to find this money? Or do you have that money? You rich? Well, no, I am okay. not rich, but I set up a website, Super Bowl Single Girl, where people can donate. And uh, so far, how much money you so got? So far, I have raised almost three thousand dollars. So I'm missing. Thank you. Thank okay. you. So I'm, mi I'm missing a few zeros, but yeah. I'm also hoping maybe I'll get a sponsor because I figure, you know, one way or another, if the guys who win the Super Bowl all end up with a ring, why should not, right? <laughs> so you're looking for a sponsor that can possibly pay for that ad. Okay, so what, what type of ad is it going to be? Do you have a vision for it? Well, you know, I use traditional advertising techniques, maybe side-by-side -side comparisons with other women who are on the market. You know, I, I, I okay. might have a jingle. You have a jingle? Yeah, I, I'm, yeah I'm, I'm still thinking of one. Or possibly testimonials from old boyfriends. What, okay. <laughs> so. But you know what the number yeah. one thing is that they say for ads? What? Sex sells. Sex sells. Okay. Yeah, honey, so you're going to have to turn to that camera on okay. that ad, baby. And lower that just a little bit. <laughs> Uh-oh, tuck that mic in. Okay. Push your arms together. Oh, like this? <laughs> oh. Crossed arms sell. Yes. Now, I want you to say, hey, baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> it's halftime. It's halftime. Don't you want to bend me upside down, backwards, and in half? <laughs> Don't you want to bend me upside down, backwards, and in half? And stand me on my head? <laughs> Don't you want to have a touchdown and do the dance at the end of the line? Don't you want to have a touchdown and do the dance at the end of the line? And then on top of that, you know when you have a touchdown, you have to kick that ball between that thing that looks like this. <laughs> We gotta put that part on the website. Uh, okay. Good luck. We'll be right back. Okay, so I want to hear from all the single ladies in this audience who can't get their guy to put a ring on it. Who has a question for Lori? Stand on up. What's your name? Nina Marie. Nina, what's your question for Lori? I'm dating a guy, and when it's time for us to get engaged, how can I get him to buy the ring that I want as opposed to the one that he would want? Yeah, how do you do that? Okay, well, you know how I said you shouldn't bring a friend in on this when you're getting into a fight with your man? Uh, in this case, it's actually a really good idea to bring your friend in. And uh, have your friend ask you, you know, hey, what do you think of um, this celebrity's engagement ring? Or what do you think of our mutual friend's ring? And then very loudly, within earshot of your man, describe in very clear detail exactly what you yeah. like and don't like. So you say, you know what, I really like Beyonce's ring because it has a cushion cut and it has two baguette, I don't know what these things are called, baguette get juicy right. bubbles on the side so just be really loud and That's it's huge idea. right <laughs> right and it's really big okay who, who's next who has a question stand on up Hi. what's your name question Rosalina and I have a quick question I recently got engaged and I've been doing all the planning for the wedding and mm -hmm. I just wanted to know how I could get my fiance into helping me into plan the wedding into planning it okay. how can she get his help well, you know, men aren't always that interested in what the bridesmaids are wearing or what the color scheme is, but you can usually get a guy pretty interested in, you know, picking out a band or mm. uh, trying tasting food, going to the caterer, you know, tell him you're going to serve his favorite thing. Every guy loves food. Bring got it. Out. Music, food, things that you know they like. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. got it. Okay, we'll be right back.